Good morning, Facebookers. How's everybody this Saturday morning? It is absolutely lashing down rain here in Wexford, so I hope wherever you are that it is a little bit better, or even better, I hope being that it's early on a Saturday morning, you're having a nice lie-in and just scrolling through Facebook while you're nice and cosy. Um, I wanted to come on today to talk to you about something that comes up over and over and over and it was actually very much brought home to me as I was buying makeup the other day and um, that is really all about prepping the skin for nice smooth makeup application. So basically my little story today is that I was um, at a makeup counter in a department store um, a few days ago and I was uh, looking at some new makeup items which I'm a complete makeup magpie so I'm very happy when I'm in a department store cosmetics haul. So the girl who was serving me was really really nice and helpful and um, I was looking for a new eyeliner and mascara for a change, me and my eye makeup and I said you know is there anything else new that you have I'd like to look at today and she said oh yeah have you tried your new foundation and I said actually I have I got it a couple of weeks ago. So she said oh you haven't got it on today. I said no no I said I you know, I liked it at the start, but over the last few days, it made my skin kind of really patchy with, um, actually when I was putting it on, I was having loved it now for the first week or so. It was like, it wouldn't go on my nose. It was like at a force field on my nose. I'm trying to brush on the foundation. It's just not happening. And then it's sticking in a clump here and a clump between my eyebrows. So I said, oh, you know, it's just gone a bit patchy on me. So I'm not wearing it today. And then she said, now I wasn't complaining because I know this happens and I will tell you why if you hang on, but she said the thing that I think a lot of makeup artists and um, brand reps say, which was, oh, well, have you exfoliated your skin lately? <clears throat> and I said, no, <laughs> no, that's not, not what's wrong. I don't need, don't need to do that. No, it's fine. So she said, okay, you know, she said, I find um, if you exfoliate your skin two to three times a week, then your makeup will always go on really nicely. And I thought, you know, how often is this skirt? And she was saying this completely in good faith. This, you know, was her giving her best knowledge and her best advice to me. And I thought, how many times a day is she saying this to customers? And how many times all over the country in different department stores, different makeup counters is the same advice been given? Because I have heard it so many times and I'm sure you all have as well. And, you know, these, these people are not skincare experts. They are expert in makeup and their advice is how to make your makeup look the best and perform the best for you. Fine. If you exfoliate your skin today, if I had gone home and exfoliated my skin and then put the foundation back on, it would have looked better and I would have thought, oh great, that she really knows what she's talking about. And then in two days when the whole cycle had you know, started again and I was getting patchy and it wouldn't stick here and it would stick too much there and I go, oh, exfoliate again. So I know that they're giving this advice in good faith because they see that if you exfoliate the skin, the makeup goes on smoother straight away afterwards. Um, but this is not what we want to do. This is a vicious circle and this is where this daily exfoliation notion probably came from in the first place. Um, now remember, I always say that in nature, the skin will naturally exfoliate itself every three to four weeks. So why you would need to do it every day is just senseless. There's no logic, there's no science, there's nothing there. So, exfoliation will make your makeup go on smoother, but it's going to destroy your skin in the long term and it is not the answer. The aim is to find makeup that suits your skin not manipulate your poor skin to allow the makeup to sit better on it for a few hours. Where, where would that even make sense? If the makeup is not suiting your skin, get a different makeup. Or if you have dry skin, follow the following instructions. I wasn't a little bit concerned that the makeup had started patching on my skin, not even slightly. It always happens. Every time I get a new foundation, I think, oh, this is the one. Love it for a few days. Then just one morning you get up, you put it on and you go, what? And you've just got this whole chalk face going on. The reason for that is because, now I have a tendency to dry skin. <clears throat> so this will be for anybody who has normal to dry skin. Oily would be different. 
there is an awful lot of silicones in liquid foundation. Almost all of them, like 99% of them are going to have quite a high silicone um, content. And that's because that's what gives it the glide and the slip to, to move around your face and, and it holds the pigment well. And there's nothing wrong with silicone. It's not going to hurt your skin in and of itself. But it does make a film on your skin. So when you are putting a film of silicone over your face every day, um, and the molecules are big, so it sits on the skin, which you want your foundation to do, so that's all very good. What happens is the natural process of the skin where it is um, losing water, so epidermal water loss is going on all the time, which it should be. This water that is coming out of your pores has nowhere to go because there's this film of silicone sealing your face. That water then irritates, if it's sweat, it's going to irritate the surface of your skin, so you're going to get a couple of little pimples and maybe some flaking. But even if it's just water and it's, 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 you're not actually you know, sweating, it's not a high salt content, what is going to happen is that the water is sitting on the very surface of the epidermis, which is your, your um, corneocytes, okay, so the corne stratum corneum. That is very um, balanced in, in the amount of water that should be there. And it's like when you're in the bath for too long and, and you know your fingertips all start to wrinkle up. This water is just sitting on your skin and it starts to irritate the surface. The water and oil balance gets out of whack on the surface and the corneocytes separate, the little skin cells separate and this is your flaking and this is why the makeup won't sit in some areas. And that's just the way it is with all makeup. So there was nothing wrong with the makeup. I love it. I loved it. I just stopped wearing it for a few days. So that was on Monday and today is Saturday and I'm back wearing it today. I said I would make this video for you so I'll put the makeup on. I'm, I, I really like it. No patching today. And I also did not exfoliate my face since it was patching horribly on me last weekend. So the moral of the story is find a makeup that suits your skin and you might just have to do a workaround if you have dry skin. My workaround is that I use a powder foundation, a mineral powder foundation most of the time because you're not going to get that barrier. But because I'm a makeup magpie and I like to try different things, sometimes it's nice to have the um, liquid foundations for a different texture, a different finish. But if you have a skin that tends to dry, you are not going to be able to wear a foundation product that has a high silicone content every day without getting into trouble. So I will happily wear this now for a few days again, then it will start to go wrong on me and then I'll put it down for a few days and just let my skin settle by using the mineral powder. Um, so the other thing of course is that primers, um, many primers are heavily silicone based and that is going to be an issue for people with dry skin as well. So um, using a daily primer is Again, if you need to use a primer every day, you're doing something wrong either with your skincare or your makeup. Um, unless you have oily skin and you need a mattifying primer every day. But you can still tweak that a little bit with your skincare. So I hope that um, made sense to you. So exfoliation is not the answer. Exfoliation is not ever the answer, okay? It it's, it's just isn't. Treating your skin with respect, restoring, respecting the barrier, repairing, that is the answer. <clears throat> it's not fast fix like exfoliation is, but then the exfoliation is going to lead to trouble long term where your slow building, excuse me, your slow building on repairing of the skin is going to give you good skin long term. As is drinking lots of water. So I hope everybody has a good Saturday and if you have any questions on that, please do let me know and I'd be delighted to answer them for you.